repair. There's really going to be two different versions on this repair. We're going to show you the quickest version that includes basically all the small parts. It has the home button which is installed. It also has the ear speaker with proximity sensor flex all attached. Okay, So we're going to do um, the quick easy repair first and then we'll um, show you the other version that doesn't have the home button um, or the ear speaker or proximity flex installed. That's where you'd have to transplant everything from uh, your broken one to the brand new one. So here we go. Let's go ahead and we've already taken the two uh, bottom screws out. They are located on either side of the uh, charging uh, connector. We'll take those screws and put them to the side. Um, another really cool thing uh, before I dive into this is we're going to have our screw mat uh, developed today. This is an iPhone 4S, and, but, it, but it's really cool because as you're taking apart the whole iPhone, it basically highlights all the screw locations and keeps you extremely organized so you don't have 25 30 screws rolling off the table and you don't know where they go because they're all different sizes. So here we go. First uh, thing we need, we need to take the uh, SIM card tray out. Go ahead and take your SIM removal tool which is also provided from phone doctors to you in your DIY kits. Now we would use our Penelope um, screwdriver to take those two screws out. It's already done but uh, now what we want to do is um, we're going to use our metal phone opening tool. This is also um, provided to you by phone doctors from the DIY kits that we sell. There is a seam, okay, between the aluminum middle frame and the LCD. Around the LCD, there's a small little fine plastic seam that we want to get in between the plastic seam and the metal uh, aluminum frame, and we want to just pierce in there. Siri not available. Connect to the internet. Siri, not Siri can't help us right now, but it probably would be really smart if uh, you can turn the device off. On this one, unfortunately, I have no screen to turn it off, and the uh, digitizer is not functioning. So we're just going to move ahead forward with this. Um, this is a whole lot different. This is kind of like returning back to the iPhone 3G, 3GS method, and. Okay, this is just falling right apart. Um, where the 3G, 3GS, it's a top-down construction, and so you start with the LCD, um, and it all starts opening from the top down. Um, the iPhone 4 was backwards. You take the back plate off and move your way through all the way to the LCD. We'll just go ahead and tear that off. Okay, and we're going to come up underneath here real quick. Let's turn it around. Make sure that we lift that metal plate with it, like so, just like that. Now we're going to fold it open, just about right there, and then we have a metal plate um, that we need to remove here real quick. Using the Phillips screwdriver, go ahead and remove these real quick. These screws aren't really magnetized, but my driver is. But it is important that you um, keep track of where your screws go. That's why it's going to be really, really uh, advantageous for you to have a screw mat. Those can be ordered straight from screwmat.com, or they come with uh, Phone Doctor's DIY kits. That uh, little shield will come off. I'm going to go ahead and dump this over to get that other little screw out. That was our top one right over here. Okay, now we're going to use our plastic phone opening tool so we're not um, destroying anything and we want to be real careful. Just come up underneath the cable, the, the lip of it, and we're basically just going to kind of flick it up just lightly and take this other one off here. There's three cables. You have the LCD cable, the digitizer cable, and then the... Uh,